We're on the island of Skiros, and the scooter broke down. But before we get to this point, let's go back a little bit. This is the beautiful island of Skiros. It's in the northern Sporades in Greece. This island is pretty out of the way and moderately well unknown. It is, in my opinion, highly underrated and possibly my favorite island in the northern Sporades. But this adventure begins in this office here, renting a scooter from this man, who is a nice man, but is also the only option for renting a scooter. Tikane! We're losing power! Maybe it's like a computer. Turn it off. Turn it back on. All right, let's see, here we go. Doesn't sound too promising. Come on, scooter! Time to call him. Let's see if he'll bring us a new one. Oh, it just died. I didn't even turn it off, it just died. Vivacity. Hel held together by zip ties and it doesn't run. Vivacity. Uh, whip number two. Good or two didn't break down, so we made it up to the horror. There's a refrigerator. And we began walking through the horror, and since it's shoulder season, there's nobody around. I caught a gecko. And then we made our way up to the very top where there is this old ancient temple, of course, a church, and this Greek flag in a pretty nice view if you're into that kind of thing. Also, there is this old cistern that uh, is at the top where they used to keep water. Then we came across this cat with no eyes. The cat bit Nikki, but liked me. Anyway, there's a lot of cats in Skiro, so we continued walking around and tried to imagine what it would actually be like to live in one of these houses. Imagine if this was your commute to work every day. It's so crazy to think that people built all this on the side of a mountain. But they did, and it's there. So we eventually made it down to more of the town center, and it was a bit more lively. Anyway, besides just walking around, we really didn't do anything in the old town of the Hora. So we ended up on the other side of the Hora over here, and we ate dinner, but we had left the scooter over here. And so instead of walking back the 20 minutes uphill, Nikki asked and the guy at the restaurant, the delivery guy, decided to give me a ride on his scooter, which is great. So the next day we head back into town and we hop on the scooter to begin our circumnavigation of the island. Come on, come on. <laughs> come on. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, no. I didn't turn it off. So that brings us back where we began, at the top of the island with the broken down scooter. I don't know if you've ever tried to fix a broken down scooter without any tools, but um, I haven't. And so I just tried anything that came to mind. Go on. <laughs> Including a push start. <laughs> I don't think you can push start a scooter, by the way. At least we have a nice view. Oh yeah, we've waited about 30 seconds. <laughs> Almost.
Eventually this piece of junk started and we continued on our way until we came across Lake Mead. I see. I do see that now we have a problem. Working out great so far. All right. Being the sailor that I am, I crossed Lake Mead with no problems. And we finally made it to our nice first place. stop, which is this old port. This used to be a port here. Um, there was a bridge and whatnot and a crane at some point in time that ships would stop and they would unload the cargo from the big ships, but that's no longer in use and it's destroyed now for the most part. So there's just these ruins. Walking down the beach, we came across this wall, and I have no idea what this is here for. So if you've got a clue, I would like to know, because neither Nikki or I have any idea what this is for. But inside, the sand is more like ash. It's super fine, very soft. I felt kind of bad walking on it. It's like a dust. Huh. Look how much I packed it down. I wonder when the last time somebody was in here was. We stopped for a quick watermelon and cheese and continued on our way as we do through the woods and across the island and eventually down a dirt road. Until we came to the end of the dirt road and then we got off and we decided to walk down the path and surprise, there's a hidden beach down here that you can only get to by that path or a boat if you happen to have one. But as soon as we got there, we realized our folly in that there's not a single spot of shade on this beach. And so we had to construct a shade shelter and version number one really stunk. But after about 20 minutes of hunting and gathering and being that I was raised on Legos, we were able to build a suitable shade structure. So after a quick dip in the nap, we left. Bummer. And there's nothing quite like hiking straight up in the blistering heat to leave a beach. Nothing I like. So we continued our way across the island, and the island, I tell you what, is a good one. 
and we ended our time with seeing the old Skyrian horses. This is an ancient breed of horse, apparently. Uh, some say that it's the breed of horse that Alexander the Great rode into battle, which is hilarious. But there's a very small population of them left on the planet, and most of them are here on the island of Skyros. But then this hunk of junk broke down again on our way to go get groceries. Eventually I got it running and then I got a bug in my eye and then it broke down again. But that's just how it goes when you're traveling. As they say, the adventure, the, adventure, the adventure begins when the first thing goes wrong. So I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, then subscribe and support on Patreon so that we can make more of these videos consistently. Thank you for watching. Have a great week. Bye.